Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the uh, lime bender to thermoform thermoplastics. Okay, so this is a typical thermoplastic. This is acrylic or polymethyl methacrylate (PMMA) if you want to get technical. Okay, and you'll notice that the acrylic comes with this protective plastic layer. Okay, now for um, thermoforming, it's probably best that you you kind of take this off at some point. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to leave it on because it will just show me where I can mark these now. If you're marking out your, your bends for the acrylic for the line bender, you'll probably have a paper template already with, with lines marked, okay? But because we haven't got that, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it on so I can see where my pencil marks are. Now, I'm gonna be line bending using a bending jig as well. Now, you can just simply place this under here, heat it up for thermoforming and just bend it, okay? But what I'm gonna do is use a jig. And what the jig allows me to do in this case is it allows me for repeatable accuracy. So if I bend this once and I put my lines in the right positions, I can get another piece of acrylic and ensure by using the same jig, I'll get the same outcome over and over again. And this is what uh, manufacturers do to ensure they get consistency in their products and it assures the, the quality of the overall product. So uh, for here, I'm gonna do my first bend at this point here. So I'm just gonna literally mark with a pencil on the plastic there and it gives me a point to uh, reference when I place it under the line bender. Now my line bender has been switched on for quite a while now, so it's already warmed up and heated up. Okay, but we're just going to have a little look at the panel at the front. Now you'll notice over here is talking about the thickness of the acrylic we're using. Now we're using 3mm thick acrylic, and it tells us, if we follow over here, we're going to have the heater in the upward position. Here's the button for the heater, and, heater, and notice we've got it in that upward position there. Okay, and it also gives me the time, the estimated time for how long it will take. Now that is 105 seconds, okay, so that's one minute and 45 seconds, yeah? Now, looking at the top of the, uh, the line bender, a bit of health and safety, what we've got to be careful of is this line here, okay? This is the actual line that's gonna get hot on the line bender or strip heater, okay? So we keep our hands, fingers well away from this position, okay? Now what I am gonna do is with my fingers, just using this guard, which doesn't get too warm, I'm gonna lift it up, and then pull it back slightly. And what should happen is it just sits in a slightly upward position. You notice I can slide this underneath and position it. Now I'm gonna place this under, looking for my, my mark where I put this, okay? Now what I want to happen as well is that for this to be completely level. Now ideally, I'd mark it either side, but if I don't have that in case, I can always line it up against this little ruler here to check that this is square, it's at 90 degrees. Now when I'm sure of that, I can again go back to this uh, guard, I can lift it up and push it forwards, and then it will drop down and just hold this tight. You can see that's now gripping it. Now, I'm just gonna reposition it very slightly to make sure I've got this completely square, and it's at 90 degrees with the heating element just above where I'm placed that little line there, okay? And now we have to leave it. Now, thermoplastics, uh, a, a, a group of plastics, there's three general uh, plastics, thermoplastics being one of them, and the thermoplastics, what makes them special is they have what's called plastic memory, okay? So plastic memory means that if I heat up this plastic, I can then bend it. If I heat it up again, it remembers what it was in its previous state. So it remembers it was a sheet, and it will, by heating it up again, try to go back to that original um, shape. It'll try to go back to its original form. It will remember that, okay? Now, the other two main types of plastics are thermosetting plastics and elastomers. Elastomers, like the word sounds elastic, okay, are uh, basically polymers or plastics that have a sort of a degree of elasticity, which means you can stretch them and they sort of pin back to their original shape. They are also thermoplastic as well, so they have those plastic memory properties. The other key group, which are not used for many things other than sort of electrical fittings and uh, high quality um, plastic goods, are thermosetting plastics. And the, the clue again is in the name, thermoset. This means they set. So once they're in uh, their, their, their desired form, you've, you've formed them into a, a shape, they will be set in that form. And if you heat them up again, they will not be able to, to form back, okay? But we're using the thermoplastics, which have that, that plastic memory. If we go back to our uh, thermoplastic piece, this has been sitting over the, uh, the line bender now for the desired time, around about 105 seconds, okay? But what I, I generally do to test this is I keep sort of working it, I keep feeling it with my hand over here, okay? Now what we're after is a, a level of flexibility in this 
and this plastic, okay? And my rule of thumb is I should use a very small finger like this and just lightly lift it on one side. And you can see if that freely moves and pings around, we know that's kind of ready to, to be thermoformed, okay? So what I'm gonna do is repeat the process, but in reverse. So I lift my guard up and bring it backwards, making sure that it doesn't uh, fall out of the front of the guard like this. And I carefully slide this out. Now I've gotta be quite quick at this stage and I'm gonna use my jig and I'm just gonna bend it, pre-bend it and then slide it into the jig so that I'm holding it into place. Now, at this point, you might wish to put some gauntlets on if you know you're gonna be sort of, um, have issues holding it in place and you might need to touch the hot area. But because I'm quite well versed with this, I'm just gonna hold it in the two positions here to support it so it can't move, and that ensures that the that will be in the right position, okay? Now, I've just gotta hold this probably for around about a minute, and that will be cool. And the way we'll know this is if I take it apart, it won't start springing back to its original shape, okay? So you can see, I'm gonna hold it there a little bit longer and we should find, there we go, we've got a, a firm firm piece, okay? It's been set in that position or temporarily set in that position. Now, if I did make an error at this point, I could put it back over the heat and it would, due to its plastic memory, form back, okay? But once I've done my first bend there, I'm basically ready to do the next one if I was gonna bend it over.